Hi and welcome to MTG Manuscript. Today we'll be having a myth busting episode. So basically, there's been a rumor out there saying that the booster packs from the first batch of holiday gift boxes, fat packs, or like those special products from uh, Wizards, especially those silk ones, they are generally have a higher value than a regular booster box packs. Yep, so I have gotten myself 8 packs of uh, booster packs from the recent Taro's holiday gift box. But unfortunately, I have already opened the gift box, so you just have to trust me that these are from the first batch of the holiday gift boxes. And what we'll be doing is that we'll be comparing the value of the cards that we gain to a video done by MTG Lion on the average price, or um, not price, as in average value of the cards from the Tiro's box sets, the average value per pack, and the average value of each mythic uh, of the Tiro set. So you can head over to MTG Lion's channel and check out those videos once we have opened up these packs. And we'll be comparing to see whether it really is that the value of uh, the packs in the first batch of the holiday gift boxes and other special silk products from Wizards have a higher value than those packs in just any regular booster boxes. So yep, yeah. so let's open these 8 packs up and see what we have got. So on to our first pack of Taros from the holiday gift box. So we just going through the cards so first up we have Flank's leader uh, awesome uncommon that is generally uh, quite valuable now if I'm wrong this is like about two, 2 bucks yep so it's quite a good one audio of Perforos another one <gasps> oh my god <laughs> look what we have found see this is almost me proven. We have Elspeth, the Sun's champion, in our first pack from our Taro's holiday gift box. <laughs> oh my god. How true can this be? <laughs> okay, we have our Elspeth. Our uncommons. So we're putting them down here. And let's just... I guess um, that will be the end of this episode. <laughs> nope. Okay, we'll be going to our second booster pack. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, I cannot stop laughing now. <laughs> this is so interesting. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's just... Try to continue to open up the rest of our packs. Mm. So the next one we have... <laughs> we have another Flanks leader. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the value. Oh my god. The value is just hilarious. Oh my god. We have a foil. Okay. Just a foil common. The Saiyan abs. And our rare is Labyrinth. Champion. Okay, not that interesting. And we have our foil here. But, uh, oh my god, I need to come back. Hi, sorry, I'm back. Apologize for the interruption. Well, uh, I just had a delivery from Amazon for my computer parts. So, you have not um, know why, you can check out my previous video on the delivery yep so some new exciting content coming up for gameplays and stuff and let's go through our third pack of booster packs from our holiday gift box and continue our myth busting so first up we have our Porphyros Emissary Audio of Erebos Nelia's Emissary not bad, and we have tried of fate. Oh, rare. 
Not bad. And we have a soldier token. Cool. So for our <laughs> very first pack of booster pack, we've gotten our Elspeth, Sun's champion. And that brings our myth confirmed up to like 90% maybe. Well, mostly it's just like luck, but yeah, this is what you see. So it's up to you whether you want to believe that the first batch of special products from Wizards, special suit products, actually, they generally contain like better cards than your regular booster boxes. But yep, it's up to you whether you want to believe it. Tessa's Emissary, and we have Curse of the Swine for our rare. And yep, you cannot go without an Elspeth emblem when you open an Elspeth. So, pretty cool combination here. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Very cool opening. So that's four packs from one of the boxes and let's move on to the next four packs from the other box of Tiro's Holiday Gift Box. So again, uh, what we are doing here is we are trying to confirm or debunk a myth that generally the packs that you've gotten from the first batch of special silk products for example, the Tyrell's Holiday Gift Box have a generally higher value than any packs from like a random booster box up there. So first up we have Horizon Camera, Heliot's Emissary, Flame Cast Wheel, and for our rare we have our Titan of Internal Fire. So put out comments here, our uncommons here, our rare, and we have another foil. Pretty good draw with the foils. Yep, so we already have two foils out of eight packs, which is quite cool. Our foil is Fericus Mender, 4 Tree Gorgon, an Island and a Golem token. Yep. So, Elspeth itself, I would think, would have covered the value of the entire one of the one, just one box of the price itself and on to our second box uh, second pack from our second box we have our vanquish the foul karametras acolyte insatiable harpy let's bring this to the front and for our nectos shine to the nicks all right Another money card there. Land cards that can do awesome stuff are always valuable. So let's hope for something more out of our last two packs. Let's see. So first up we have our Kragma War Caller. Very cool Minotaur creature that you can like do tribal stuff with other Minotaurs. Arena Athletic, Warrior's Lesson, and our rare is Shipbreaker Kraken 6-6 six, six with uh, 10 mana for Monstrosity 4. Okay. And our last pack. For a mystic rare, a mystic foil will be even better. Uh, lightning strike, scorch grip tight, cool. Our first uncommon we have Horizon Scholar, Fericus Mender. Whoops, I missed one uncommon which is our Mojish Marodo. But yep, we have our heroes down for another. Pretty valuable card, and yep, another golden token. <coughs> so let's just separate this out and see all the rares that we have gotten. 
and our foils. So for our foils, we have Fergus Mender, Nessian Apps, Apps. <laughs> no idea how to pronounce that. And for our rares, we have our Heroes Downfall. I think it's about like ten bucks. Ship Bricken Kraken, Nyctos, another ten bucks. Titan of Eternal Fire, Curse of the Swine, Trials of Fates, our Elspeth the Sun's Champion, along with her emblem. I think this is about like a 20 plus dollars combination. <laughs> and we have our Reverend Labyrinth Champion. And on to our uncommons. Generally, I'll just go through them quickly. Mojus Maroda, Freyfus Mender, uh, Vanquish the Foul, The Emissaries, The Audios, The Combat Tricks, we have two Flanks Leader, probably about like 4 bucks there. <clears throat> Oops. Yep, so again, this is an episode where we try to confirm or debunk. A myth that is out there saying the booster packs from special sealed products such as the holiday gift boxes have a generally higher card value than random packs from the booster boxes itself. So I would think pretty clear that we have a myth confirmed here. But again, I'll be comparing this and uh, do some post editing to compare the value of the cards that we have to a video done by MTG Lion on the average packs value and the average mystic value that you get to draw from booster packs in the Tarot's release. So yeah, see for yourself, choose whether you want to believe in this myth. And this is the end of our episode. If you'd like to support the channel, please do hit like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.